That's not right. How can the price be going down? Something's wrong. Where's Wilson? What are they doing here? Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to go over the current Bitcoin situation. And if you've noticed, which I'm sure you probably have, if you use Exodus or if you sent any Bitcoin transactions lately, they probably even haven't been confirmed yet. It's taken up around eight hours for a transaction to go through. And Exodus has actually suspended Bitcoin. If you look at Bitcoin exchange, temporarily unavailable. So any Bitcoin you have in your Exodus wallet, you're not able to send or do anything with, which is really ridiculous. Um, I really liked Exodus in the past, but now they kind of locked everyone's Bitcoin up. You can't even send it out of Exodus. You can't send it or do anything with it. And they say it's because of the current traffic on the Bitcoin network, which if you look, it's 132,000 unconfirmed transactions. And if you look at the block size, this last little graph, it's, it's shooting up to who knows. It's cut off. It goes so high right here. It's going to go megabyte and a half. Who knows? But the Bitcoin developers really need to increase the block size. That's the reason that Bitcoin Cash is taken off. It's because they have implemented the bigger block size and transactions are going through faster and cheaper. I mean, Bitcoin's limited right now and it can't keep up with the, with the network. So that's what's happening. It kind of sucks because all our funds are locked up. Um, let me know what wallet you're using and if you are able to send Bitcoin or not. I haven't tried with the Bitcoin Core wallet. I haven't tried with Jax or any other wallet at this point. But if you have, let me know if you're able to send Bitcoin. And if you have, um, how long did it take for the transaction to get confirmed? Because currently, this is, the, this is the highest I've ever seen it, unconfirmed transactions. In the past, it's usually around 20,000, 30,000, it seems. In the past, this past month, normally, before the fork was going to happen, it was around 20 to 30,000. So now it's shooting up to 132,000. And it's because everyone's scared and they're trying to sell out. And now everyone's trying to buy Bitcoin Cash, I'm sure. Because a lot of people don't care. Not that Bitcoin Cash goes against the core philosophy behind Bitcoin, because it seems to go more with along the lines of Satoshi's vision than Bitcoin is going. But it just seems like people go where the money is. They don't really care about the philosophy behind any of this. The majority of people just want to invest, make money, take it out. So whatever they see climbing, they're going to want to buy. And whatever they see falling, they're going to want to sell. That doesn't predict the market. That's just what happens in the market. Your better stuff is to watch the news and go based on the news. Bitcoin still has a shot to come back, but if they do not increase the block size, they're really doomed. I mean, you can't even use the network. What good is it if you can't use it? So that's about it for this video. Just a quick update. Um, I was able to use some Litecoin to buy some Bitcoin Cash, so I bought one Bitcoin Cash. The first one failed, the second one went through because the network must be jammed up. Everyone's trying to uh, move their Bitcoin around right now. Okay, there is one thing you can do. Since Exodus locked down the Bitcoin, if you have Bitcoin in your Exodus wallet and you do want to move them still, you can export your private keys and import your private keys into another wallet such as Bitcoin Core or another wallet. So what you're going to want to do, open up your Exodus wallet. And as you can see, Bitcoin is temporarily unavailable. But if you come in Exodus, select the window and hold down Control, Shift and D, it's going to open up this context menu. Click Exodus, then Developer, then Assets, and go to Bitcoin, and you'll say Export Private Keys. You can say, are you sure? Are you sure you want to export your private keys? Remember to keep your private keys safe. Anyone who has your private keys can get your funds. So that's the most important thing with this cryptocurrency is controlling your private keys because you can restore any wallet from any location using your private keys. The Exodus is just a doorway to get to your the blockchain. 
the blockchain actually holds the cryptocurrency, not the Exodus wallet. So if you export your private keys, it'll show you successfully exported and it shows you the location. So on your computer, you need to go to this location. It's within a CV CSV file. So look at that file. That's going to have your private keys. This is probably a good idea to do anyways to back up. And then you can save those files in on a USB drive and then stick it in a safe somewhere. And that's just an extra backup you can have for your, your wallet. So once you have that, then you would go into, say, Bitcoin Core Wallet. You can download from Bitcoin.org. This is the full Bitcoin client, the wallet. And it's going to download the whole blockchain. It's like 145 gigabytes right now. So it's not the fastest, most efficient method, but it's the most secure and reliable method. So if you do, you go this route, you can just go to, this one's a little trickier. So here, let me, once you open up the core, it's going to want to sync with the network, which will take a while. And you can just let it do that in the background while everything is running. And it may slow down your computer a little bit once it's backing up or once it's downloading and syncing the network. But once it's done, your computer should resume back to normal, like processing power and all that. So from within the Bitcoin Core wallet, you want to go to help and then go to the debug window. And then click the console tab. And down here, you just want to type import private key. And then you're going to paste your private key from the file that you downloaded. Paste that there, import it into your wallet. And that's going to take, it'll find your funds that you used to have in Exodus and it's going to import it and it'll show them on your, your Bitcoin Core wallet. And then once it syncs with the network, your funds will be available in the Bitcoin Core wallet. And then you would be able to send them using that wallet instead of Exodus. They should still be in both actually, because you're not changing private keys. So if you spend some here and you go to Exodus, it's going to change the balance. The only thing these wallets do, are, it's like a doorway, a gateway to the blockchain. So that anytime you tell it information like a private key, it goes and finds that private key on the blockchain, matches it with any transactions or funds, and then shows them within the wallet. So that's one method you can use to get your funds out of Exodus if they're stuck in there and you really, really want to move them. I'm not recommending you do or don't. It's your choice, but this gives you an option to have control, which is the whole point of cryptocurrency to begin with. Like it doesn't need to close on Sunday. It shouldn't shut down when the network's busy. We should always be able to move our funds when we want, how we want. And this is how you do it. But let me know your experiences. Let me know if you're able to send transactions or not and what wallet you're using and if they are allowing you to send transactions. So that's it. Quick one for this time. Um, have a good one. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.